Namaste, my friend. How you are doing? You are happy. It is a choice made by you. You are in peace. It is the choice. But if it is not a choice, it is not achieved by the free will, what we say, the intellect. How then the animal mind is working? And that is what we covered. Always never forget what we want, we do not get. So we do not examine whether what we want is right or good. We don't examine it. So when we don't examine, no, no, you are not respecting me, you are not appreciating me. That is what I want. I want an appreciation from others, recognition from others. Now the choice lies with the other person, whether one appreciates you or not, but I want. So if I examine what I want, I don't get, I realize that appreciation is coming from the animal mind. That is habitual, that is a non-thinker mind that causes a lot of challenges in our life. That is briefly I covered what we want, we do not get. Why we do not get? Because animal mind is wanting something. What we get, we don't like it. So we don't examine what we already got. We got five sense organs, five motor organs. We are a healthy human being. And uh, by grace of the God, we are living a very good life. Financial constraints are not there, especially in your case. So what we got, we don't care for it. We don't realize. We don't appreciate. So when I see that what we get, we don't like, because we are sleeping to the best things that we have in our life. So who is sleeping? The mind. Mind has a lot of desires and the cravings and obsessions, so it is, it is obsessed with those cravings. And that is why we forget what we get we don't like. Think, I'm not saying that you believe me, but I'm saying simply my friend think. So what I got, I don't think about it, but... Uh, what I got, I don't like. Why? Because my mind is looking for something that may not be achievable. Or we have a wrong path. My son, you should, I like you. What I got, I have a huh, son in the I have my children and I expect from them. But what I get, I don't appreciate. I have the children. They are more or less independent. They are doing their, they are able to live their life, even some problems. So if I appreciate the existence, what I got, I will appreciate my children also. I'm living in a house, I can appreciate that. I have a sense of freedom, I can appreciate that. So when we don't appreciate, 
Then there is a problem, what we get we don't like. And the third is what we like, it doesn't remain forever. What we like that is always pleasant for me. So I choose what is pleasant for me. And what is pleasant for me today will be a pain for me tomorrow. Understand clearly what, what we want. It should be, and it should be understood. First, we have to contemplate. We have to find out what we want. Make a list, and if possible, send me. I will examine it with you. So, if I want that is not available, where I am seeking, I will be frustrated. That is the meaning, what we want, we don't get. And what we get, we don't see how many things we are blessed with. How come you have a sleep problem? Well placed, you have a good house, wonderful house, taking care of the pets, uh, you are intelligent, well settled in your life at this age. Don't, we don't see what we got in case because the mind is deluded, mind, impure mind wails what we already got it. We don't like it because we are not caring for it. We are not appreciating it. And what we like, it doesn't remain forever. Remember, the animal mind always likes what is pleasant. Did I tell you the story that we have a group session on Mondays and Thursdays? So a couple of people, I see them that the dog is moving around when they are practicing meditation. Now that dog, I have seen that the dog starts licking. Animal mind knows only one thing. Whatever they feel, they do it. Whatever that pleases them, they will do it. The dog do not think because they do not have an intellect. They cannot make a choice. They cannot think that, oh, let me wait for the master is in meditation. Once the meditation is done, then only I will start licking. But on the other hand, if you see, if you see the person is engaged in doing something, a person is speaking to you, so you wait, you hear, and then you can make a choice. That is not available to the animal mind. But if I move the animal mind, then what happens? What we like, it doesn't remain forever. And that causes a lot of challenges. So we are going to understand today destiny. One, animal mind is the second. And the intellect or the free will, third. Pay attention. Keep on doing the last practice that I gave you. One of the great master of the Eastern wisdom, the Krishna, says, Uddhareta Atmanam, Atmanam, Na Atmanam Avsadet. Literal translation is, Lift your mind by an intellect, free will. You have a choice. You, you are an insidey. Intellect should be put into the service. I can continue to be into anxiety. I can stop this anxiety. I can do the things differently. If someone caused the anxiety, let me forget about that guy. Let me, let me think differently. Or 
I can choose what is right and good at that particular moment. Animal mind cannot think. Are you getting it? Pay attention. This is going to transform your life. So the master is saying, lift your mind by an intellect. Don't degrade it. <clears throat> How come you degrade your mind? What I want, I don't get it without examination. What I get, I don't like it without examination. After all, let me examine before I get frustrated. What I like, it doesn't remain forever. Hence, I'm frustrated. Hence, I have a lot of anxiety, duality, conflict, and the mind is totally impure. Let me examine first before getting into anxiety, fear, and delusion. Are you getting it? <clears throat> so the master is saying, lift your mind by an intellect. Intellect can think. What it can think, just remember the four aspects. Intellect means the free will. We all have a free will. I can act on the problem. I cannot act on the problem. Two options. I can act differently. So if I act differently means that maybe I can increase my problem or I can decrease my problem. And the fourth option is belongs to the Eastern wisdom. I have to examine and analyze what is right and good. What is the best option available? In daily life. So that is the so master says I degrade my life. I degrade my mind. Not manamavsade. Don't degrade yourself. <clears throat> How you degrade yourself? Because of the impurity of the mind. Suddenly I get upset because of the some person and I continue to linger on that upset. I stop thinking. My whole focus is on that person. I'm angry while I'm going to the kitchen. I'm, I'm angry, I'm upset, continues to be in anxiety while taking a shower, changing their dress, eating their food. Oh my goodness. What? That is the animal mind. I don't use the intellect. Intellect be put into the service. Let me think. Let me find out the option. I gave you the four options. I can act on anxiety. I cannot act on anxiety. I can act differently to reduce in anxiety or increase my anxiety. And I have to find out the best option available to me. I'm just explaining in a bit, summarizing it, then we will go a little deeper. Master says, mind is the greatest enemy and the mind is the greatest friend. Some Summary? Summary of today's topic? If you, if the in, if the mind follows the intellect, the free will, the mind becomes the greatest friend. And if the mind dictates the intellect, it is the greatest enemy. It paralyzes your intellect. That is what happened because of that sleep problem. And that is why I thought that I should talk about this. You have a mind, you have an intellect. I have a mind, I have an intellect. <laughs> Do you see that? 
the master is saying, how oh, I should lift my mind by an intellect. I should not let my mind go down. Going down means impurity. Why? Because mind alone is the greatest friend. Mind alone is the greatest enemy. It becomes the greatest enemy, like the dog licking the... So the dog was licking, and then I explained them that you see the mind, animal mind, feels something, and it starts doing it. They don't have an intellect. They don't have an option. They cannot say, let me act on it. Let me not, do not act on it because master is doing the meditation. Let me act differently. Let me sit down and rest. Or let me go out as long as the master is doing the meditation. And let me do the best. They don't have. Why I'm saying we have it. We don't use it. So when we don't use it in times of the stress, anxiety, duality, conflict, delusion, reaction, anger, mind becomes the greatest enemy and it causes endless suffering, my friend. Any time, anywhere, in any event, any situation, when you are surrounded by Delusion, anxiety, ignorance, reaction. You have to find out four options. The moment you think even of four options, your intellect is put into the service. Only one verse coming from the greatest teachings of the Master Krishna and the text of the beautiful text of the Eastern Wisdom is Gita. So knowledge received, assimilated of the Eastern Wisdom will lift our life, not only the mind, every day. A person becomes a seeker who learns and understands the concept of meditation and mindfulness can apply it in their daily life, reducing stress and increasing overall well-being. When the mind is left to do what it does, animal mind, animal mind does not think, and again go to the same example, any man mind feels like looking, so it feels. It does not have an option. So when the mind is left to do what it does, it causes the endless suffering in our life. Mind is left to do, to think, oh, you have not appreciated me, I offered you such a good food. Look unnecessary, unwanted. Mind feels like that. And when the mind is left to do what it does, it is because of the impurities of the mind has taken over and the impurities of the mind, when it takes over, we have already discussed in detail, it paralyzes the intellect. It stops your intellect to think that you are totally free from this stress. Why you are unnecessarily going there? But the intellect is paralyzed, so the intellect does not think in that right way. And when the intellect does not think in the right way, we are doomed. Are you getting it? It's a very uh, little serious topic. <clears throat>
I'm differentiating between the mind and the intellect. <clears throat> so knowledge is always received by the intellect. You are contemplating. And knowledge is received by the intellect. Intellect has a, means that free will. I have an intellect. I have a free will. I have a free will. I can act on it. I cannot act on it. I can act differently. I can act the best possible way. Mind does not think in this way. Whatever the mind feels, it does. Mind feels like, mind feels you did not appreciate me, so I'm hurt. I'm upset. When you wake up in the morning, you are upset without anything. The next day you wake up in the morning, you know that you had a sound sleep for 10 hours and still you feel anxiety. You feel tired. Because I feel tired, hence. I can give you hundreds of examples like this. So when the mind operates in our, on our daily life and its activities without understanding clearly, that understanding comes from the intellect, I continue to suffer. So we are suffering because of ourselves. We have degraded our mind. <clears throat> we, we are, we have, let me rephrase it. Because we are dictated by the animal mind and animal mind has an impurity. It does not have an ability to think. The impure mind driven by the desires, fears, and attachment can be, can lead one into the suffering, away from the path of liberation. We are destined to be awakened. Now there is a third thing that we need to understand. I'm touching that topic because you might be, you might have thought hundreds of times about it. The word is destiny. <laughs> so animal mind is animal mind, what it likes, it continues to do it, and then it continues to suffer and then I don't have a choice because my intellect is paralyzed. So my mind says what to do. It is a destiny of my life. So the destiny or the external circumstances of life should not be allowed to dictate my life. While destiny may present challenges and opportunities both. I may think my destiny is like that. That is why I am suffering. But if my intellect is not working, oh, I am suffering. Let me get out of the suffering. Let me minimize it. Let me reduce it. No doubt. That is why you are with me for so long. So some, you are becoming aware now of those principles which you have been practicing. Destiny may present challenges or opportunities. Ultimate responsibility lies with the intellect to use the intellect to navigate these circumstances with the wisdom and grace. By keeping the mind focused on the path of self-discovery. Adverse circumstances, you claim it is a destiny, but my real nature is peace and happiness. If you remember, the intellect reminds you. 
you think of it. I'm simply saying you can. My nature is permanent peace and happiness. Okay, destiny says adverse circumstances. Let me minimize it. Let me start working on it. You worked on the sleep and within a week it, you did it. It's a little higher principle. I believe you are getting it. Seeker lifts the mind with knowledge and wisdom. You are a seeker, so seeker always lifts the mind huh, with knowledge and wisdom. From where the knowledge and wisdom, it, it is located in the intellect. How you get, that is what you are getting it. So you listen, you learn, you contemplate, you reflect, you practice. So what happens? You are cultivating self-knowledge. Not only by listening and learning, but by practicing regularly. And gradually you reach to a point where the intellect cannot be dictated by the mind and you are free. That is what we say. Knowledge of the Eastern wisdom leads to inner transformation, inner change. Intellect must become the servant of mind. Animal mind must become the servant of the intellect. What it means, mind gets upset with seeking pleasure, have a higher level of expectation, have a movement of ego, have a movement of the impurities. That mind must listen to the intellect. I'm, I'm sending that knowledge to your intellect, but intellect must assimilate that knowledge by repeat listening and practice without fail. Send me five things that you want, you didn't get, you like, what you like, it doesn't remain forever, and then analyze why. There comes the intellect when you analyze and contemplate and reflect how your mind will start dropping those anxieties. So I have to recognize, remind, recall, and repeat in life daily the why. Knowledge liberates. Ignorance binds you. Ignorance causes the unending bondage. Knowledge liberates from the suffering. Intellect. Again, now, again, let us understand a little deeper. Intellect or free will? Whether you say intellect or free will. Or you can say right knowledge. Same thing. Intellect or a free will can defeat the destiny and the animal mind. Intellect can defeat the pleasure-seeking mind where the pleasure is not. Expectations of appreciation gives me the pleasure. But appreciation, uh, the pleasure is not the property of appreciation from someone. Is pleasure property of? Like this sweet is the <laughs> sweetness is the property of the sugar. So do you think that uh, uh, getting appreciation from others, uh, does it contain the pleasure? No. My ego. Just I'm giving an example. Expectations. So despite growing up in the family with a history of addiction or individual may use their intellect and free will to make healthy choices. 
I'm just giving an example and break the cycle of addiction, and many people have done this. This is an extreme case. So the moment I have those anxieties, liberties, conflict, you use your intellect or a free will, I can act on it. I cannot, the moment you say I cannot act on it, animal mind takes over, intellect is paralyzed, and now, but if you can act it, you can act it differently, you can act what is right and the best. Do you need a prior qualification for doing that? No. So this master says the impure mind will degrade the seeker and intellect will lift the seeker. Intellect lift the seeker to a higher consciousness where there is a peace, where there is a joy, there is a happiness. Impure mind or animal mind will degrade the seeker. We have already understood the impure mind, impure states of the mind. We have already understood. It is guided by the egoism, ignorance, delusion, attachment, aversion, fear. These mental impurities cloud my judgment. Judgment comes from the intellect, lead. Well, understand in a different way. Animal mind chooses whatever it, the animal mind or the impure mind chooses. It is driven by the instinct, driven by what I like and what is pleasant for me. It is driven by the ego. When the mind is impure, it becomes the seeker's enemy, pulling the, pulling the seeker away from the higher purpose. On the other hand, the intellect, when properly cultivated, utilized, becomes the seeker's friend. The intellect is the faculty, it is the faculty which allows the seeker to distinguish between between pleasure and happiness, between sorrow and happiness, between right and wrong, between real and the unreal, between the eternal and the temporary. That is the journey of the Eastern wisdom. By using the intellect to make wise choices aligned with the spiritual goal of self-discovery, you can lift out of the ignorance and move towards the self-realization, what is known as awakening. What should we do? From now onwards, make a choice. Animal mind made a choice without, unex without examining it. You will continue to suffer. Our mind has a disliking for a person, for example. And then the mind starts thinking of disliking and it creates an envy and the hatred inside. And now I am into anxiety. Now that person knocks the door and I'm ready to be angry and upset. Animal mind. The mind has a disliking for a person and the intellect is put into the service. The intellect says, what you have to do? 
to the liking and disliking. That guy also exists in the universe the way I exist. He has a right to exist. I have a right to exist. Now, what are the three benefits of having hatred against a person? There is no benefit. You are using the intellect. I can act on it. I can act on the impure mind. I cannot act. If you don't act, this mind will will prevent you to think rightly, use the intellect rightly, use the free will rightly, and then we are ready to start something. How it happens, listening and learning these principles. Now our sessions are very deeper. You have to listen to it again and again, prepare a summary of it, send to me what you have understood, what you did not understand. After contemplation, and followed by the practice. At least after a few weeks, you will reach to a state where the where even you having an adverse situation in your life, you will not be perturbed and disturbed because you have taken over uh, the animal mind. Again, I'm, I'm in a simple way, as a human being, we all have the unique capacity for free will, or you can say the intellect, and a conscious choice. Which sets us apart from animals. Animals always act on the instinct. They try, they are driven by the instinct, they thrive on the instinct. So we can be driven by the instinct or we can be driven by the knowledge. Knowledge comes from the intellect or the free will. Free will allows or the intellect allows us to shape our life and purpose and pursue the path of self-discovery. If your intellect is not shining, it that is one of the major reasons we cannot reach to the highest level of the self. So intellect or the free will, I can start the journey of the self-discovery, but it can be clouded by the impurities of the mind and the base instincts and the ego, and the ignorance, and the duality, and a conflict. I have to make a choice. We face a fundamental choice to accept and exercise our free will and transcending our animal nature or ignore it. When you ignore it, we live with animal mind. Whenever we have a stress, anxiety, duality, and a conflict, we have ignored the intellect. We have ignored the free will. You know, ignored, ignorance, ignorant. I don't know. Intellect says, I don't know. I will keep myself, continue to be into anxiety. I will continue to react. I will continue to fight. I will continue to uh, have a lot of expectations and craving for something in the world. Are you getting it? I believe so you are getting it. So when I embrace the free will and making a conscious choice, I embark on a journey of the self-discovery and a personal transformation. That point we have reached now. How can I say about you? Because within within a days or two, 
you got rid of the sleep disturbances, you understood it clearly, you applied your intellect. You have to revisit, you have to revisit how you applied that intellect and you got rid of it. That is why I'm talking about destiny, animal mind and the intellect. Free will can be clouded by the mental impurities and the base instincts. I have not to allow it. I have to cultivate self-awareness is a key and that is why we are doing the practice. We are listening it again. Now understand in a very simple way, again understand. The mind is there and the intellect is there. Intellect or the free will you can say. Intellect or the free will I told you just think of the four choices. I, I can act on fear. I cannot act on fear. I can act differently. I escape from the fear, but I realize the fear is not there. I am anxious. I continue to be in, to anxiety. I can act on it, but I better, I thought it is better not to act on it. So that anxiety continues and I realize Later on, there is no reason to be anxious. It is unknown, unfounded. That is why the fourth option, what is right, good, and the best? By understanding what is real and the unreal. Drop the unreal, anxiety is gone, reaction is gone. So the duality of the human <clears throat> duality, human mind, human intellect, mind, animal instinct versus the intellect. Intellect means the knowledge of the free will. Animal mind, instinctive reaction to stress and suffering. At, at least, you know, I can understand that. Oh, I get upset instantly on small things and issues in my life. I get obsessed with it. The animal mind is the part of our psyche that operates on instinct, reacting to stress, anxiety, fear, conflict, with anger, blame, and avoidance. So when we face some kind of a disagreement, the animal mind thinks you are wrong, I am right, I will teach you a lesson by not talking to you. Oh, one example. Animal mind is like a trapped creature, desperately seeking to escape from the stress and the fear. You have your pets and you put it into your hand. It wants to escape from the fear. Why? They don't have an ability to reason or choose a different path. If we do not accept the intellect means the knowledge and the free will, we will live, live like the animal mind. And if we accept, then we exercise the intellect. Make, you know, at least you spend 10 minutes every day before going to sleep. How many actions decisions you have made out of the animal mind and how many decisions, actions and the thoughts you express to the intellect. You can easily find out. Whatever the decisions you have made after examining, using the free will, you, you will see that you were happy. You accepted that decision. There is no disagreement. There is no reaction, blame and conflict. And wherever you have exercise, your animal mind, anxiety, fear is there. The unique human ability, intellect and the free will. We all have it. I was telling, you know, oh, give me the example of this human free will and the choice. How simple it is. You have an urge to evacuate, you land up in the restroom. You don't land up in the kitchen. 
this animal knows it even by hard training it is mechanical and still they miss it animals live programmed lives without long term plans while humans can exercise their free will to make decisions and work towards personal growth and self discovery that's what we are doing you are a seeker so i'm talking at a high level you have to listen to it again even if you do not understand do not understand you have a right to ask me intellect and the free will are like the guiding light that can illuminate a path out of suffering so we have you we have understood the animal mind we have understood the higher capability we all have is the human intellect and the free will now let us see the choice between the destiny and the free will human beings have the choice to either accept and exercise their free will like us or to believe that everything is predetermined what is predetermined is nothing but the destiny no i'm suffering because it is predetermined here the mind and the mind is working with lot of confusion if someone argues that everything is destined and free will doesn't exist that belief itself is a choice that belief itself is a wrong choice and the moment your mind says this is the destiny and you choose and accept the free will is like taking the wheel of your life journey forward what is the path of the seeker path of a seeker path of a seeker he transcends the destiny he purifies the mind the seeker purifies the mind that person purifies the mind that person does not stop recognizing even the destiny or the adverse circumstances it does not say that it is predetermined let me change it by knowledge by practice by action instead of getting caught in the stress and the conflict a seeker chooses to look in world let me go inside i have done that practice which has given me the peace and happiness let me continue and repeat that practice let me first experience the calmness and peace in me and then i will find out if it is really a destiny or something else but you are already in peace you have changed the dust animal mind intellect or free will and destiny i am using again the two three terms animal mind animal mind animal mind refers to the instinct tip it is programmed aspect of my behavior that are driven by instinct desires and emotions or you can say it is part of the mind that operates on autopilot reacting to stimuli without conscious thought or reflection so when i face with a threatening situation the animal mind might trigger a fight or flight response causing one to lash out in anger or flee in fear but a seeker but a seeker 
but a seeker understands that animal mind, while necessary for survival, can also be a source of suffering. Animal mind in us can be a source of suffering if I leave it unchecked. It is the mind that becomes impure, caught up in the cycle of craving, aversion, impurity, reaction, blame, complaint, leading to stress, anxiety, and conflict. Intellect or free will. That is the topic of our session. So when you have a clarity, you understand it. Oh, I'm into stress and reaction. Mind, where are you? What are you doing? Intellect or a free will? Intellect or the free will is the faculty that allows for rational thinking, decision making, self reflection. I start thinking. It is the ability to choose. I can act, I cannot act. I can act differently. Let me act in the best possible way. Way. What is right and good and real? I will follow that. So you, you drop the destiny part, you drop the impurity of the mind, you have started acting, you don't, you, you, your mind doesn't say and you don't follow the mind. No, 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 I cannot act. When faced with a difficult situation, the intellect can analyze. You start thinking, consider different options, make a conscious choice about how to proceed. That is the goal of a seeker. The seeker recognizes that the intellect is the key to breaking free from the limitations of the mind, animal mind. By listening and learning these principles, you awaken to the wisdom and the knowledge of using your intellect and the free will. What about the destiny? Destiny refers to the idea that the course of my life, situations, even, is predetermined either by a higher power or the law of the universe or because of my impure mind <laughs> and the consequences of my past actions. It suggests that the events and experiences we encounter are meant to happen and that our choices and actions are ultimately part of the larger plan. What a seeker does, that you have to learn. You as a seeker understand that while the concept of destiny can provide, what it can provide, it provide a sense of meaning and purpose. It is not an excuse for inaction or resignation. Rather, it is an invitation to trust the real self is there. Let me find the real self in these adverse situation and understand it, and you will get out of it. That is the path of the seeker. A seeker armed with an understanding. Now you have a clarity of understanding of the impurity of the mind, the animal mind. You have a clarity about the destiny. You have a clarity about the intellect. Chooses to you choose the path of self-discovery. That is the best possible way because peace and happiness are located within. It is not outside. You have already checked it. You have already understood it. Like a scared. Uh, like a skilled sailor navigating the ocean. 
a seeker uses the intellect as a compass. Setting. Seeker uses the intellect as a compass, setting a course towards our highest aspiration, that is self. The seeker trust in their in the journey. Seeker trust in the journey. I'm comparing, giving you a metaphor. Knowing even knowing that even the storm and the challenges they encounter. The seeker encounters are opportunities for growth and transformation. With each conscious choice you make, seeker makes, the seeker shape their destiny. Now the destiny. No, no, I'm shaping my destiny by right choice, by right action, by right effort. Every seeker, every human being faces the challenges from the animal instinct, blame and complain, ignorance and duality on one hand, destiny on the other. You pass in between balancing the two, absorbed into the meditation deeply, so you transcend both and you experience the yes, pieces inside, even, even if there are adverse circumstances, you can come to that. Example, a person says, I'm upset with you, animal mind. And the same person, mentally, he feels he's upset. He invites the intellect and asks the question that why I'm upset, because I'm not appreciated, I have a lot of expectations from me, because my desire is not fulfilled by that person, that is why I'm upset. And as you start thinking along these lines, your mind is already clear. The intellect has taken over. Now, so your mind does not say it is my destiny to get upset. Another way to understand the intellect, okay, I'm reacting to this guy. Let me, your intellect asking the mind, let me give three benefits of getting upset with this person, getting reaction. You cannot find even a single benefit. Should I tell you a deeper aspect? I always asked when I was upset, I always asked through my intellect, to the mind, where the upset is located. where the anxiety is located. Should I answer? I have yet to find where the upset is located. When the intellect examines and wants to find out the location of that suffering, it will not find out because it is already gone. It is like the light says, let me find out the darkness. It is like the same thing, the waves it says, I'm in search of the water. That is the power of intellect and that is the power of the wisdom. That is what the Eastern wisdom is. If 
from now onwards whenever you are whenever you experience the impurities of the mind or whenever you have those symptoms intellect and the free will should be put into the service keeping aside the destiny recognizing the adverse or favorable situation and intellect chooses the best option you move to start moving towards that check that if you can easily sail through you have become a greater seeker if not we will continue our journey to become a greater seeker thank you